style. Cute, but. You can't make it your style with by, by what you add, by the pants or by the shoes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and welcome to Jen Lifestyle and Fashion. And for those of you, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, over here we talk about style, fashion, upcycling, thrifting, sewing, um, talking about ideas about how to uh, keep your wardrobe sustainable, um, somewhat on a budget, and just trying to put things together that make sense and make for you to have a long-lasting wardrobe. And so if any of that sounds like it is interesting to you, then please hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an episode. I would love for you to join the family. All right, so this week, you guys know I lost a lot of data and I sent my, um, my hard drive that I keep all of my um, my files on I sent it out to this company if I can get the information on the company I will link them below they were able to recover about 85% of my files and I am so grateful oh my goodness the only thing is it took a really long time but I am determined to bring to you guys some of this content so what I'm doing is I'm trying to bring more vlogs and the back log content during the week and keep the weekend content for um, upcycles and fashion related stuff and styling and things like that. So this week I wanted to bring to you my trip to Los Angeles this spring. Um, I did a lot of thrifting <laughs> and next week you'll actually be able to see the thrift haul because it was a lot. Like, I brought back a lot of stuff from Los Angeles, but it was great. I went vintage shopping. I went regular, you know, clothes shopping. I was with my family, and my aunt was with me, so she was helping me pick out some things. And, you know, it's always interesting when somebody else tries to shop for you. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So there's a couple items that she... that she persuaded me to purchase. I'll put it like that. And I've yet to figure out how I'm going to style them, but just for her, I am going to do it in an upcoming video. But I'm gonna only show you the highlights because, man, when I uploaded the video, it was like an hour and 50 minutes because it was so jam-packed. It was I was there for a week um, and I did shopping, we went to dinners, we went to plays. I spent time with my family. We did a lot. Um, and I vlogged while I was there. So I'm going to bring you the parts that I was actually talking to you guys. And then I'm going to narrate through things that I want to get past quickly. Because I want you to see the thrifting, the shopping, the vintage. I want you to see all of that stuff. And then we're going to get through it. So you'll hear my voice as a voiceover. But you'll also hear my voice as part of the video. All right, so you guys enjoy, and I will see you back here um, next week, hopefully with a haul from this video. So watch for all the pieces, and I'll show them to you in detail in the following week. Okay, you guys, enjoy. Um, so right now it is... It's like close to 10 o'clock. Actually, let me, yep, it's almost 11, and my flight is at 5.20 a.m., which means I need to be at the airport by 4, which means I need to leave the house by 3.30, so I'm going to order my Uber to be here at 3.30, and I am going to get in the bed. I was going to stay up and do some editing, but I think I'm going to pass on that, yeah. So, um, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so that's the line for TSA and I am in line for clear. 
Hey y'all, good morning. I'm here at Midway Airport and my how things have changed since the last time I was here. Lately, I've been flying out of O'Hare. Um, so I can't even remember the last time I was here, but that used to be um, part of the food court over there. And now it is no more. It's a food court, some food and like some shops. And they're not there anymore. Hey guys, alright, so I have arrived to LA. I am waiting for my bags. Uh, I'm gonna head over to see my family and then I gotta do some work. So. so I'm headed over to LAX to catch my Uber. You guys, I rode. Continue ahead, then in 350 feet, turn left onto the shared path. Still giving me directions. Um, I rode the bike um, down to Santa Monica Pier. This overlooks the little freeway. So I'm determined to find these shoes. Um, hopefully by now, you all have seen my new clothing haul mixed with a few thrifted pieces. And I'm looking for one pair of shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna find them. So we're gonna see if they're here. It wasn't where the map said it was, but here it is. Let's see if they got what I need. Look one more place, and then we're going downstairs. Nope, those are not the right ones. Found them. Thank goodness. Oh, and look at these black car girls. Okay, Jen, don't look at anything else. This is the only 37 they have, too. Thank you, goodness. Thank the Lord. So this is this kind of stuff that I'm talking about. That is an easy upcycle. I'm gonna do this for you guys. Really soon. Okay, it is 3 o'clock and I need to get back because we got like four and it's gonna take me 20 minutes to ride back on the bike. So I'm gonna check out with these shoes. See the mountains off in the distance. It's a clear day, you could see them better. But this is my bike. This is the bike I run it. Yeah. This is the menu inside there too. Hey guys, we are here at the Bourbon Room to see the Obama musical. It's supposed to tell the story about Michelle and Barack. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we just got our VIP hand stamps. Um, my family got the ticket, so waiting to see what this is going to be. Thing right here. Do that. At 44 Obama Musical. Again, we love you. Let's start the show. Let's do this.
good morning from Los Angeles. <sighs> you guys, it has been an extremely busy morning. I have been on Zoom calls, I've been on email, I'm about to jump on another call, but I wanted to get on here just to say it's the next day. Um, I was supposed to go to breakfast with a girlfriend this morning and she pushed it to Sunday, so we're not going until Sunday. Um, I did Bantu knots last night and so this is the result. So not, not bad, but I don't think I'll wear it down um, because again, the back is not cute. Um, so let me get finished doing stuff here and I'll either see you when I go get my breakfast or when I get to the thrift store because I do have a project that I'm working on while I'm here this weekend and I need to go out and get some stuff for it. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we just decided to step out and run a few errands. We just left Best Buy and now we are um, at this place called Jerusalem Chicken. And uh, I'm just gonna turn around so you can see this sign. Black Beverly Hills. And I think we're gonna take a look in here. I was gonna say it's not a vintage or anything, but it's really like nice. A nice style. little boutique, yeah. Okay. And this is where we're gonna go get some food, so. See you in a little bit. So we stepped inside CJ's <laughs> to check out some of the clothing and shoes. Um, I will say they had some interesting shoes um, with these kind of block heels. Uh, kind of gives it, gives you a bit of an Asian feel. Um, a lot of the dresses were very flowy and long. Um, lots of chunky jewelry. Um, yeah, so I, I thought some of the pieces were kind of interesting. Um, nothing in particular caught my eye. Didn't walk away with anything, but it was just nice to um, visit this black owned business. And they have been in business for almost 30 years. So people love it. Look at this. This 
has my name written all over it. Hey guys! All right, well we are back. Um, we had a really good time out today. Only visited one vintage store. I saw this orange dress, y'all, and I cannot stop thinking about it. So I might be going back to get it. It was so cute. Um, we went and got some great food. I actually haven't tasted the food yet because I'm getting ready to get dressed and go to dinner. Uh, so right now I'm gonna get dressed to go to dinner uh, one of my friends from chicago actually a couple of my friends from chicago are in la and i'm meeting up with them this weekend so i'm gonna get changed i'll show you what i'm wearing and we'll head over to the restaurant all right see you back here in a minute Los Angeles streets, navigating this Los Angeles traffic, rethinking my hair. No. Yeah. You know, me and this hair, we um we're doing good, but sometimes it reminds me of when I was a loose natural. And this is why. When I was a loose natural, I'd wake up in the morning, style my hair, and some days it would just be perfect. And then some days I would do the same exact style, the same exact process. And then I would end up putting it in a bun. And so I think because my hair is starting to get long that I'm running into like my curls aren't as curly as they used to be so I did Bantu knots this morning and maybe it's the weather too could be the weather could be a lot of different variables but now I feel like it is more droopy and it's not as full um, yeah especially I feel like that in my ponytail I feel like it's not as fluffy as it could be and I probably need to wash my hair. So I did not bring any shampoo or anything with me to LA. But when I get back, I will be washing it. All right, I am almost at the restaurant. And I will see y'all in a bit. So I'm having dinner um, at this restaurant called Crustacean. It's really nice. One of its best features is this koi fish tank that is in the floor. These are fish in the floor of the restaurant. And I was just so fascinated by it. I went back and I looked at it like two or three times. Um, another great thing about this restaurant they actually will make your ice cream for you at the table um, they use um, some uh, cooling chemicals to create the ice cream um, and they make it right at your table and give you all the sauce and 
all the fixings. Um, so it's really nice if you get a chance to um, get out to LA and you really want some fine dining, uh, this is definitely the place to go. Uh, drinks are incredible. Food was absolutely amazing. I would definitely go back. Um, so yeah, check it out. And it's so nice in there that I had to have a photo shoot. All right, you guys, it is the next morning and today is gonna be a pretty full day. I want to get a little bit of thrifting in before my sister-in-law's um, party. And we're celebrating her um, graduation. She received her doctorate. So first we're going thrifting. Um, this uh, Salvation Army, uh, there are two of them. They're right next to each other. This one is a little bit higher end. Um, I will link it below, but everything in here is higher end handbags, shoes, purses, clothing. Um, so like these Michael Kors um, platform sandals, and uh, which I regret not getting because they were so super comfortable. They fit really good. I don't know why I didn't get them. I, I think because I was shopping with someone else and I was a little distracted, but they have some really nice pieces in here. Um, some things I thought were a bit overpriced, but yeah, again, this hat I should have brought home with me. I don't know what I was thinking. So n not to worry, I will be going back and there will be opportunities to look at more pieces. So I just wanted you all to get a feel of what was in here. And then next, um, after we're done here, we went next door uh, to the regular Salvation Army and you can definitely tell that the quality is a lot different. All right, so then we went next door to uh, the other Salvation Army. So I'm just gonna refer to it as Salvation Army Next Door because it didn't really have a separate name. Uh, but you can definitely tell difference in quality. Uh, they still had a lot of good pieces, like trench coats, right, lots so of shoes. On the other side. Um, I felt like the quality of the and shoes was actually yeah, pretty good. Like um, lots of t-shirts, dresses, so it, it really gave you more of a regular kind of thrift store mm -hmm. feel. Um, Tight pieces here. And it was much so larger. So this store was maybe twice the size of the other size. one that we were just in. I'm good, how are you? Um, definitely worth checking out okay, great. and making time to spend, you know, at least minimum 90 minutes in here because there is so much to see. So one of the things I was on the lookout for were shoes that I could upcycle. 
This video was taken before I did the shoe up cycle and I really like had that shoe up bend, cycle so in mind. So I wanted to get a few pairs of shoes that had that type of potential. I ran across these boots. Um, and not really my style, but my aunt really kind of pushed me to try them on and think about how I could incorporate them into my wardrobe. So I went on ahead, tried them on. They were super comfortable. I felt like they were unique. I love the fact that they had this really high heel and that this, the boot had the toe out. So I thought that was good too. And actually they'd be perfect in weather like we're having right now because it's in the mid 60s, almost 70s. So I went on ahead and grabbed them. Um, I'm not sure when I'll wear them. Um, and then ran across these great kind of beigey, taupey, patent leather heels, but they were a little too small. Um, they fit on my left foot, but they didn't fit on the right foot because I'm having some issues with that foot, but they were so nice and I hope they go to a great home, but they couldn't go home with me, unfortunately. Uh, but I had to show them off because they were just fantastic. Our next stop is the graduation party for my sister-in-law, um, graduated from USC, and um, we had a great time um, celebrating with her. And of course, with this beautiful Los Angeles weather, you know, I could not pass up getting a little photo shoot in while I was there. something with this hair um, I, don't know, I was gonna band to knot the front maybe I will but I gotta get up really early tomorrow I'm meeting a girlfriend for breakfast and then I'm going to try and do a little negotiation at vintage on Venice and try to get these boots and this dress wish me luck all right, you guys, see you in the morning. Uh -oh. Hey, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this, get us a little more light here. Here we go. Hey, guys, good morning. It is day one, two, three, day four here in Los Angeles. And I am getting ready to go and meet my girlfriend for breakfast. Got my little sun visor on. And we're gonna sit inside because it's cold out. And the high today is only going to be 76 degrees. LA. Yeah. The temperatures are going to be better in Chicago. I actually can't wait to get back home just because the weather is going to be so much better. All right, you guys. So I'll see you at breakfast.
works in Santa Monica. Oh yeah, it's very close. That's it. After breakfast, uh, driving back home, I passed by a, a car show. Um, and you know what's nice about living in Los Angeles is that the weather is so beautiful that you can really show off your really nice vehicle all year round because you don't have to worry about snow and you know salt and ice and you know all of that. And so I really love looking at these. Some antique cars, some more contemporary, newer cars, but um, they're kept up so well and I just enjoy hearing people talk about them. So I stopped there before I went back to the house to um, get my aunt so that she could go with me thrifting. Hey y'all. All right, so I stopped off. I know the lighting here is horrible, sorry. Okay, that's a little better. Um, I stopped off at this little car show that was going on uh, nearby, and I love looking at cars, engines. I love to look at like vintage and antique cars, and then, you know, those sporty, racy kind of cars, Porsches, Lamborghinis. So that was nice. Um, I'm headed back to Vintage on Vin Venice to see if I can talk this lady down on these boots and this dress. Wish me luck. I hope it works. If not, no big deal. I'm going to head over to Goodwill. I'm giving myself a $50 budget. I am looking for a pair of slingback shoes that I can upcycle. And you will see why in a later video. Um, and that's about it. All right. See you when we get to Vintage on Venice. Okay, our first stop is the Council Shops Thrift Store. And this is a pretty large store. Um, I've been here a couple times before, not this particular location. This is the first time I've been in this location, but it is packed. Mm -hmm. Everything, oh, yeah. handbags, um, shoes, uh, a really large men's section. And I think they also have furniture here. Um, so if you're in the market for something like that, uh, it's a good place to go. I did find that the prices here are a little bit higher than your Goodwill and Salvation Army, but um, good quality nonetheless. Um, yeah, so again, still looking for the shoes that I can upcycle and any other pieces that I can add to the wardrobe that can also be upcycled as well. Um, my aunt was very helpful here. She was finding things, pointing things out, encouraging me to get certain pieces. And you'll see towards the end where I landed. Um, and I'm pretty pleased with the pieces that I got. I ended up with these two pairs of shoes. One was leather, the other one was this blue pair, which I think are gonna be really, really nice to upcycle because um, I can use denim on, on here and it already has this kind of light blue heel. So if I didn't wanna cover the heel, the heel would flow very nicely into the denim. And then I found these um, leather platforms that I was a little unsure about, but I figured I'd grab them because they were on sale and um, I could see what I could do with them.
not really. You can get these two for $7.99. So we're starting to wrap up. Again, a great variety here. Um, we were trying to get out of here, so I kind of was trying to hurry up um, here towards the end. Um, my stepmother, meanwhile, while I'm finishing up looking at what else is on the rack, uh, laid everything out on the couches uh, and furniture in the back so that I could make decisions about which pieces I was gonna take home. So, here we go. You got everything laid out. All right. So we have this. I think this has some potential. It looks like those little divots can get rubbed out. So this, depending on the price, we will decide. This here is, this is a large. This is definitely going to be too big. This I really want to like, but these pants, um, I actually really like them. Just like work pants. I thought this was a cute dress. This one, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. This one, not quite my style. Cute, but you can't make it your style with by by what you add by the pants or by the shoes, by the purse. You can't make it your style. I thought the same thing, but it's too cute. I just, I don't want to have to make any adjustments on anything, and but it's gorgeous. As soon as we left the council thrift shops, we headed to Vintage on Venice, which is right down the street. Um, I made a beeline to try on this vintage um, orange striped dress. Something about it I was really drawn to. Um, I definitely see this being upcycled, but I love the bright orange color. 
the problem is that she wanted like a hundred dollars for it and I just wasn't paying a hundred dollars um, so she eventually went down to like 40 which was good and we went on ahead and picked it up you don't live here either yeah I would probably put it at 50% off so it'd be like $45 that's less of a risk, but yeah. you know, totally up to you. <laughs> you know, think yeah. about it. I'll take it. You want to get I'll, it? Yeah, I'll, because I'll see here, I can probably use some oxy yeah. on here. Then lastly, uh, we stopped off at a couple more shops. We actually went inside the Doc Martin store. And um, you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I've been looking for Doc Martens in um, the pre-loved world I haven't found anything yet <laughs> but I'm gonna keep looking and then they had a Lululemon pop-up so I went in there and I found a jacket and leggings that I completely fell in love with okay turn it around so I can see it okay Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it is my last day here in Los Angeles. Hmm. So I am pretty much packed. Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, I've got a few things that I want to do before I leave. One, I need to go back to this place and get some great food to take back with me at, um, on the plane. And uh, it's a little dreary out. I really wanted to do a little skating, uh, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So that really makes me sad because I really wanted to get out there and do that. I didn't get a chance to run this morning. Just gosh, you know, the time shift. Uh, it's amazing how those two hours make such a huge difference. So anyway, uh, I'm going to close out the video here and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed my la vlog i will be coming to you with a separate la haul from my thrift and consignment findings i feel really good about that um, i also had some new pieces so you'll start to see more hauls from me that include um thrifted or consigned pieces as well as some new things because I am introducing some things into my wardrobe. All right, you guys have a great one and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.